until you love yourself and really have self-acceptance along with self-awareness, until that happens, you will not have nice days. You will have anxiety, you will have down days, you will struggle. Here's what's so fucked up and amazing about this. You get to decide. Treat yourself like you're someone that you care about. If I spoke to my friends like I used to speak to myself, I would have no friends. So what I started to pay attention to was how I spoke to myself out loud and in my head. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. Have you ever done anything mean to yourself? Well, it's very important to look inside yourself and find that loving part of you. That's the part that you must take good care of and never be mean to. Despite the fact that you're not all that you could be, the proper attitude to have towards yourself is the attitude that you would have towards someone that you genuinely cared for and that it's incumbent on you to act as if you genuinely care for yourself. You make the world a much worse place if you don't take care of yourself. So you should bloody well take care of yourself. When I start off my day by investing in myself, I set the tone for the rest of my life and everything else falls into place because I've set a precedent that I'm important, that I'm worth it, that I matter. It's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. So I need you to be comfortable in your own skin. I need you to be comfortable being you. And I mean the authentic you. Because you keep trying to shame yourself into being better. You keep trying to shame yourself thinking that's going to ignite your flame of change. It just doesn't work like that. That's not the solution. So you got to love yourself into evolution. You'll be amazed at what the universe conspires to make happen for you. Thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. You know, it's like in life. You've got to have a little sadness once in a while so you, you know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. Until you love yourself, nothing will happen because that's the part of you that allows you to love your neighbor. Respecting and loving your neighbor can give everybody a good feeling. So you've got to love yourself more right now. Starting today, make the commitment to loving yourself more. Make the commitment to believing in yourself more. Make the commitment to showing up for yourself more. A lot of people look at investing in yourself as taking care of yourself as selfish. I actually think it's the most selfless act you can engage in. Because if you're no good to yourself, you can't be good for anybody else. And so by working on yourself, by improving yourself, by valuing yourself, you literally make every single person in your orbit, in your circle, better. Imagine the global totality if every single person in this world focused on their health and their happiness, how much better the world would be in just 30 days. If people could just put themselves first for 30 days, and like I said, focus on their health and their happiness, in 30 days, we'd see a remarkable change on this planet. If you do talk to yourself out loud, and I do, make sure that the words are loving and supportive and nourishing. Start the work of being your own best friend. That's the thing about being an individual. It's the thing that Western civilization has always recognized, that as an individual, you have a light that you have to bring into the world. And that if you don't bring it into the world, the world is a dimmer place. And that's a bad thing, because when the world is a dim place, it can get very, very, very dark. 
And so it's necess not just so that you feel better, not just so that you're a number one lobster, none, none of those things. You need to take care of yourself because you're in the best position to do that. And it's necessary for you to take care of yourself. Despite the fact that we're mortal and vulnerable and self-conscious and capable, you're still, you still have that responsibility. Love yourself in the evolution. Feel good about you. Know that you are here for a reason. Know that you are here for a purpose. Know that you are great. Know that you are amazing. Know that you are one of one. Know that your flaws are just part of what makes you incredibly you. You're imperfectly perfect, just like everybody else. And that's a beautiful thing. You are an unbreakable spirit. Your worth is astronomical. Don't try to shame yourself into being who they think you should be. I need you to love yourself into being who you want to be and never let another person's approval be your key to happiness. But there are times when it is okay to be selfish. It is okay for you to start doing for yourself what you have been doing for others. It's okay to invest in yourself the same way that you have invested in others. There will always be someone who needs you for something. But it's important for you to recognize that you also need you. We have to start deploying self-awareness. If you leave here and start your process of really knowing what makes you happy, of who are you really, if you could stop chipping away the voices from the outside, if you can start figuring out what you're scared of, if you want to actually do something, even in the light of the picture that I'm painting right now, who are you scared to fail in front of? The reason so many of you are not doing what you want to do is you're scared to fail in some. You need to eliminate that and or own that fear and put yourself in a position to succeed. Because with all of this, with all of this, we are now in the greatest era.